There's a little uh -uh, right left. Nothing, no matter how dear, should be sought at the expense of one's honor. That is a wild true statement. Okay, I just finished cutting up the onions too. I think you should have everything you need. Yes, thanks, pa. Oh my, they're a lot older. I just realized that. What the? F he didn't fix his glasses in how many years? Huh? He just put tape on them? Bro, that seems like, that sounds like a Sean type of, type of thing. And if you guys don't know who Sean is, that's someone I work with. And he's the type of guy that would glue his glasses together. Then getting new ones. And, you know, it worked pretty well for a time, for a long time. And I think that's what Appa is doing over here. He is just waiting until those things fully, fully break. He's like, if they can survive a full-blown attack by wild raccoons, you know? Raccoons, it's okay. No, he probably got, it was probably people he got his ass kicked. On. I'm just saying, though, like, I'm, like, they're pretty old right now. They look like they're, like, they got some wrinkles. I'll go help Kevin pack. Now, how old is Kevin? Because if they're looking that old, how old is he looking? Is he in college yet? Oh, shit. We got the fan. Oh, oh my God. We're getting fancy. Guys, are you serious? Am I missing something here? <laughs> okay, this recipe, please. Yeah, it's completely unreadable. Am, am I me? <laughs> how did that happen? Layered uh barani is really fancy i've never really made it that way before but i've seen ama make it the night before we left india oh my maybe i can try remembering them can we just go back to india no way what is this what are i have to do this from i have to just guess If it wasn't for the wonderful amount to mail community here in Toronto, I can't even read. I can't even imagine getting all these spices easily and affordable 20 years ago. To, to mail shops, restaurants, theaters, and I hear they're offering to mail courses for students now. Excuse me. They've worked so hard to. What am I? Am I running an ad or something? I wish I could do more here. Maybe I'll apply if there's another. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. No, oh, this is hard. Yo. So before anything, I should put in. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to remember this? Alright, Carf and Clo Bay. Carf and Clo Bay. Carf and Clo Bay. Car. Yo, this is wild. What am I? Wait. What is this? Now the beef goes in after we add all the salt and powders. That order is important. The beef goes in after all the salts and powders. That's easy. Then add water and let it reduce. That's even easier. Ah, uh, how am I going to remember all this? Yeah, please. Don't worry. I've added all these instructions to the recipe book. Okay. That's what I like to see. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I didn't mean to. All right beef we don't need the beef we need the chili powder that ain't it that ain't it we need one two what was this to close yep yep ah i can never get tired of how great yep 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 
I wish you could see. I would you would lose your mind over these prices. And then Is there any water in there? <laughs> what are we looking at here? Um There's a logic to the order you add these four ingredients. You want all of them to fry in that oil nicely, but the ingredients you add first will always fry more in the oil than the ones you add next, right? So if you want onions to turn golden brown, they need to be fried the most. I probably shouldn't put the other stuff in. And remember, once you add tomatoes, they release so much water, it's hard for anything to fry after. You fry after all. Um... I don't think I can undo that. So what was it? The tomatoes don't go in. The onions. It's the chilies. Um, you know what's great? There's no fucking book. Not the pay. Should we just add all this? I don't remember doing it this way. Fuck me. Let me try again. <laughs> it's okay, so it's definitely this. <laughs> I don't remember doing it this way. Alright. Oh, then maybe the tomatoes. Hmm, I don't remember. Yep, we fucked up. How do you know when these are like, oh, I guess when they're golden, right? Wait for them to get a little bit more gold. Maybe. Maybe not. This music though, I fucking love it. It's so good. All right, let me add the tomatoes. Um, then I'm thinking. Oh my god, she doesn't remember. Oh, what am I doing wrong? It seems like once they get that, I can just do that. And then maybe some salt. Nope, she still doesn't remember. I'm sorry you don't remember. Water. I need to hit. I don't know. I can really use a hit. If you want the onions to turn golden brown, that should probably go in first. That's that's what I did. Followed by chilies, ginger, garlic paste, and finally tomatoes. I think. Wait, no. What did she just say? I just missed that. I said it out loud and then it... It was the garlic paste first? Oh, yes, 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 yes. I like that. Of course, the tomatoes go in last. You went through a lot of trouble for the recipe book, Ama. I'm sorry I couldn't take better care of it. But I'm fixing these now, and I hope Kevin can appreciate it when he cooks these. That's what I'm saying. My, my dude's going to love it. He's going to fucking love it when he gets a little bit older. If he ever does. He will. Trust. He will. He will. So now the spices, that's what I'm talking about. And then the marinated and then water. Oh my God, put a cap on it. Where's the top? Let us steam or, is that it? We just let it, let it reduce. I guess we do let the steam go.
So is, there's nothing else to add. Oh, some salt. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. So this, 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 this. Ah, there we go. I was just, I was just missing the pour of salt. I think we just need to let it simmer for 30 minutes and we can start layering. Oh, what are we? We're layering? We layers in this thing? Gravy is done. Sorry, you're going to hear a bang and it's definitely not a soda, but it is. Gravy is done. All that's left is the barani. I hope I can finish it before Kavan leaves. It's like I want to say Kavan in an Indian accent, but I don't want to be like disrespect. Dis oh, do we have an actual recipe? Bro, this poor woman has been going out of her fucking way to make her family a bomb ass meal every day and they're so ungrateful Ugh. all right so one two one two three do we know what any of one two three are no once done let it let it sit uh low flame for 30. <laughs> we gotta do a bunch of guessing again okay at least the second part is sal 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 salvageable I think the idea is to put everything in the pot, seal tightly, and let it simmer together. I don't think so. The one, two, three might refer to the different layers of the gravy, rice, and other things. Yeah, it's not just that easy. But in what order? <laughs> but in what order? But what items? Maybe I can try to remember. Ah, uh, I see. We just add all, all of these together on top of the rice layer. And that's the final layer. Yes. What's wrong, Ama? Oh, Ama, why are you crying? Is this about to get serious? You know, we'll visit often. And once things are better, we'll come back here. Oh, she's she's remembering her false promises that she made. Poor thing. This is our home. Where else would we, where would we go? I know, Kana. It's just so far away. Damn, that got real pretty quickly all right so we didn't learn anything new do these tell me anything sorry i didn't want to i just wanted to see if it would i should scoop out a layer of beef using the empty bowl Then add one layer of rice. Then I should add the scooped out beef followed by the layer. Oh my goodness. We are doing. Oh my. <laughs> oh. Then I should. Oh my. Yeah. Then all the garnishes probably go on last. Rice. Mint. Milk. Onions. Cilantro. Ghee. Cashews. There we go. With a layer of rice. Oh fucking god. And then it's just... First try. Uh, I'll just have to cover it with the lid. Yep. First fucking try. Okay, I think this is it. <laughs> this better be it. <laughs> I need my first dub in this game. My first dub, please. Just need to keep the flame very low and let it cook together. The rice will fully absorb all the moisture from the gravy, deeply flavoring it. I can't wait. Oh, come on, we got this. My first first try. Should be good now. Looks amazing. Oh, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Ah. 
I thought that was going to be the hardest one. I didn't really layer it that, like, I didn't follow the layers rule. Like, oh my man, look at the fade. How is it? I was so good. This dude's. I love it. Beef really is the best. Oh, it's really good, Amma. I'm glad. I won't get many chances to cook for you like this again. Ah, uh, I'm a... Stop being so dramatic. I'm just moving out for university. Yes, Ghana, but we'll miss you. Have you packed everything? It's a long drive. You might have to get gas on the way. Oh, as it turns out, my friends are driving there today after all. So I'll be going with them. Oh, fuck. That was a slap in the face. This way, you and Appa won't have to drive all day. Uh, that's kind of the point, motherfucker. Um, I was looking forward to the drive, dude. It's not all hassle at all for us to drive you. We love to. Last chance for us to annoy you with unsolicited advice. Oh, I know that would be nice. But I think it's easier this way. You can always annoy me another time. That's not fucking true. Okay, Kana, sure. Did I even get any of the meat pieces? Uh, maybe we can drive there next week, drop off some food. Oh, I almost forgot. Will your friend's car have enough space for some containers? I don't know. Why? I've packed a lot more barani. I've also packed some bodies, pickles, and sweets. Did she give all the pieces to Kappa? <laughs> My man got robbed. Ama, I can't take that in the car. Why not? I've packed for your friends too. You can all eat. Ama, they don't want barani. And the whole car will smell. I don't want them in my dorm either. You don't want any of it? Kevin, I put a lot of effort into making all of this this week. I didn't ask you to. Oh my god, my guy is so ungrateful. Maybe, you know, maybe... Maybe after university, he'll finally indulge in the uh, culture. Fuck. I thought it was going to be like, this age, he was going to be like, loving that shit. Why are you... <laughs> well, why are you getting mad? I know you didn't ask. But what will you even eat there? I don't know. There are cafeterias, instant noodles, whatever. I'll figure it out. I can't believe she gave him all the pieces. I'm just eating kush. <laughs> Who's got here? That's not even healthy, Gavin. You can't eat out every day. Literally everyone there will be doing it. I'm just trying to be helpful. Well, you're not. <laughs> Why don't, why don't you just take some of it? You don't have to eat it. I said no, Amma. I'm done with this. This is a fresh start for me. I don't want to smell like little India anymore. My man really fucking went there? You know, I agree, like, the smell. The smell can be a bit, it's like, it's not like, you know, but so can McDonald's, so can pizza, like, everything's got a smell, that's for, like, it's, it's so wild to think, like, other things don't, I don't know, I just want to be normal, that's like, bro, you're being abnormal for once. Ghana, the language you speak, the food you eat, the clothes you wear. Only you should decide that, Gavin. You don't have to change who you are for us. But just be sure you're not changing who you are for anyone else, either. 
There's a wonderful and beautiful culture that's part of you. It would be a shame if you chose not to be a part of it. Just because you think it's not normal. That's what I'm saying. And why did we even move here? So he's back on this. Why did we move here? And it's probably because I'm the one that chose that answer originally. But. Ah, we should have just stayed in India. It's one of those things where. What did I say in the beginning? It's a lose-lose for these fuckers. These guys are screwed. And he said that when they were pregnant. And he's like, are you not worried? And there she was like, nah. And he was like, we're kind of fucked either way, aren't we, darling? And she was like, nah. He's going to be our son. And our son's being an asshole right now. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell. It's just... There's no need to create a fuss over any of this. It's not like you're never going to see me again. I'll visit often, okay? That is literally what they told their parents. And look at it now. I'll call every every week too. So please try not to worry, okay? Okay. They said the same shit to their parents. I, It was in the memory. While we were cooking. Is that them? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Are we about to look at a bunch of D-Gens? Yes, I think so. Who's that girl? I've never seen her before. Oh, God. Smart kid. This is why he didn't want us to drive him. Chip off the block. Oh. Dad, dad was risen up mother? Back in college? I suppose it's good that he's so independent. And he makes his own choices. Even if they are so incorrect. Our choices were mostly made for us already. Whatever he chooses that at least it'll be his own decision. We just have to wait patiently for him to come back to us. <laughs> Until then, it's just the two of us again, huh? Just like old times. That's that's a good way of looking at it, right? My man's 18. Send him on his way. He's his own man. Back to me and you, girl. We were unable to offer you our secondary teacher position at this time. However, we encourage you to apply again next year. Did he fucking get that? What have they been living off of this whole time? Oh, my mouth is itchy. Oh, my bad. You know, just coughing up a storm. Drink his honey quiz. Oh, did Kevin reach uh, university? Did he text or call yet? Nope. But we told him to text or call when he gets there, right? Yep. Well, maybe he hasn't. Uh, oh, he has. I kept waiting and got worried, so I finally called him. He just said he forgot to inform us and hurried to hang up. Ah, uh, well, it's a big day after all. I'm sure he has a lot going on there. Oh, sure. Let your son do as he likes. I'm not going to bother anymore. He doesn't want to eat what we make. He doesn't want to speak to Mill. He doesn't even want the name we gave him. I'm done chasing after him. Damn. Yeah, you're right. Oh, wait. He forgot his headphones in his room. I was going to bring it to him next, sometime next week. But maybe we should just let him pick it up whenever he's here next. Oh, he did? Of course, not Pavlon. We should... Of course not, Pavlon. We should help if we can. He uses those headphones all the time. It'll be hard for him without that. What? She's back to... Oh, you made that up? Is there anything more fleeting than your anger towards Kevin? That's what being a parent is, I suppose. When Kevin said he wants to pursue writing, I was so happy. Finally, something we have in common. I wanted to show him all the work that inspired me and all the poems and stories that I love. And the ones you wrote that, and the ones you wrote too. 
what in the ones you wrote too and all the stories you read to him as a child were just ones you wrote on the spot yes but i doubt he even remembers that i don't even know if he can read to me the literature much less understand it i used to wonder why he wanted to turn his back on all the unique and special things his roots have to offer but after that night in the park Maybe he's thinking it's better not to be unique or stand out in any way. Damn. Ah, that's a little rough. And I don't think we can blame him for that. I guess it wasn't the best decision to move. I don't get to write here. You don't get to teach here. It's hard for Kavan to be who he really wants to be here. Maybe... You should have stayed. If you're going to suggest, suggest I would have been better off not moving here with you, maybe anger, anger is going to be anything but fleeting. But come on. I know how much you miss home. Wouldn't you be happier back there? If I, ever, if I, if I felt like I didn't have anyone, then yes, maybe I'd be happier there. But I have Kevin, and I have you. Home is where is where you two are. Oh, awesome! That was legit. 